So my story of coming to Washington Apple Pie is the year is 1987. I finished law school and I failed the bar exam, not once, but twice. So I said, I need to maybe choose a different career. And <clears throat> I decided that, you know, a place to go and find new careers is the public library. You walk over to the public library. So I, I went to the Martin Luther King Library in downtown DC and I walked into the Washingtoniana division, the, the kind of the local division. And I, I asked the reference librarian, I said, are there any computer clubs in, in town that I could join? And the person said, well, there's two. There's, there's one for IBM users and one for like Apple users. So I said, well, I'm kind of Apple oriented. I, I don't wear a tie. You know, people who wear a tie used to be IBM users in the old days. So I said, tell me about an Apple user group. And the librarian went over and she found uh, in, an, in a, an index card, this is an old fashioned library, and you know, there was Washington apple pie. She handed me this index card. She goes, what, write down this information. So I wrote it down and I called up the office of Washington apple pie, which was on Woodmont Avenue in 1987. And I went and I joined that club and that club actually gave me a new career because uh, I ended up learning a lot about computers from people in the club. And uh, uh, not long after I had my first job teaching computers in Montgomery County Public Schools. So uh, Washington Apple Pie was my self-education route after I failed the bar exam. So I am grateful to the club because when I needed it, it was there. And um, I still have very happy memories. People might not know some of the earlier history of the Apple Pie is a very legendary club. When I joined, it had about almost 5,000 members or 5,500 members, I think, 1987, 88, 89. Uh, I ended up working at the Washington Apple Pie office. And um, at that time, we had members from 49 states. There were 49 different states who had members in Washington Apple Pie. And we had members in 32 different countries. We had members in Saudi Arabia and they, they all liked getting our monthly journal. The monthly journal was in print and it was about 140 pages, believe it or not. So those were the early days of the apple pie. And um, uh, Bill Wider what, remembers these well, I bet. Um, we, we had, there was, there was uh, I guess two offices on Woodmont. It was the uh, Woodmont and Battery Lane, and then there was the other one uh, in the very expensive building. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so now I've done with my digital storytelling. I want to save it. So I have three minutes here. I'm going to click on the recording icon.